If you love the look of watercolored images and want to learn a simple technique with awesome results, stay tuned and I'll show you one. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another technique video for card makers and paper crafters. I'm going to show you the fun technique I used to watercolor the flower from the You've Got This stamp set from the new Stampin' Up! catalog. This is a perfect stamp for this technique as it has detail lines that are really strong and clear. I'm going to use water-based Stampin' Write markers and an aqua painter. The first step is to color the stamp itself with markers using dark colors which will show the detail lines best. I'm using the side of the brush tip to color the petal line with elegant eggplant marker. So you get the idea here. All the petal lines get done in elegant eggplant. Then there's these little stamens in the center and I'll color them with crushed curry. Then the last coloring I'll do is the leaves and stem with Mossy Meadow. Now that the stamp is fully colored, the ink has had a chance to dry in some parts. So to reconstitute it, I'll huff on it, which will add moisture back to the ink. <sighs> this is a really important step or you'll get really light lines when you stamp. So I've got a piece of watercolor paper and I'll just put the stamp in the center of it and press down. Now if some of the lines turned out pretty light like this it's okay because we're going to go over some of the lines that get light as we go along. I like the aqua painter for this technique because the tip comes to a nice firm point and I have good control of where the water and the color goes. But be sure to empty the water out of the barrel Otherwise, you'll have too much water for this detail work. So I have a little dish of water and a paper towel. And then I have a plastic lid that I'm going to use as a palette for some marker. So I'm just putting some squiggles of the Elegant Eggplant and Mossy Meadow on there. Now to start, I'm going to dip the aqua painter in water and then dry some of that ink off. And then I'll start moving some of the ink from the detail lines into the petal with the water from the aqua painter. So this technique only works with water-based markers. You can't use alcohol markers for it because The water won't move the alcohol inks. And as you do this, you'll notice that some of the lines will get erased with the water. And that's okay. Because what we can do is go back with the fine tip of the marker and draw over those lines again. Now I want to let this area dry a little bit, so I'm going to move over to another area and fill those petals with some light color. And I keep drying the brush off with my paper towel so I don't end up flooding things with water. Okay, now that this area has dried a little bit, I'm going to pick up some color from the plastic lid here and add some darker color to the undersides of the petals and the areas where they kind of meet and maybe cross over each other. This will help give some contouring and shading to the project. And if I need to move some of that color around and blend it in a little, I can do that. 
or I can add more ink if I want it darker. And I like to leave the tips of the petals light and use this shading on the underside. And adding the lines back in really emphasizes the detail of the flower. So I'm going to leave that for right now and show you what I do with the center of the flower. You can see that it didn't stamp these stamen lines very well. And I don't try to improve upon that with the aqua painter. I've just smeared that crushed curry color around and then I'm going to go back with the tip of the crushed curry marker and add some detail lines. Then I'm going to color the stem and leaves the same way I did the petals. And I'll definitely need to redraw some of these lines. But you get the idea. So here's the finished flower. And that's it. It's an easy watercolor technique to bring color and artistry to your stamped images on handmade cards and paper craft projects. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for you to do your part. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com and take a look around at the blog while you're there. And then don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.